All right, now to some local politics. Could a Southeast Texas politician represent the entire Lone Star State? State Rep Dave Phelan hopes that's the case. He is confident that tonight he tweeted a, about a transition team that'll help him if he becomes the next Speaker of the Texas House. Well, some say this could really amplify our region's voice in Austin. We believe it. 12 News reporter Jordan James with us live to update us on Dave Phelan's efforts. Representative Phelan says he has the support of both Democrats and Republicans to become the next Speaker of the House. At a press conference this week, he said, quote, that the race, it's over. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dade Phelan. I'm from Beaumont, Texas. Soon, State Representative Dave Phelan's name could be etched in history as the next Texas Speaker of the House. It's not about politics. It's not about vote records. It's not about policy, really. It's not about where you're from. Um, it's about trust. Phelan, a Republican, recently released a bipartisan list naming 83 other representatives supporting his candidacy for Speaker of the House. Those votes would be enough to secure a spot. So even though we may be members of different party, that don't mean we have a different outlook of, of on, on some critical issues. Among those advocating for Phelan is State Representative Joe Deschatel, who says Phelan's willingness to cross party lines is what sold him. We have to be able to work together. And I believe that he's going to be a, uh, a figure uh, that will, will bring unity to the House and put Texas first. As Speaker of the House, Phelan could determine how debate is managed, along with how future bills are handled. Professor James Nelson says his voice could also benefit Southeast Texas. It could uh, help Southeast Texas in some ways, but in what way and to what extent will be determined by what bills the legislators introduce. While nothing is set in stone, Phelan is already looking at the big picture. It will be a difficult session to accomplish a lot because of COVID-19, because of the budget deficit. Even in this tough environment, Phelan believes he has what it takes to lead the state. Leading up to January's vote, Phelan plans on visiting with members of the House of Representatives to hear the concerns in their community. Reporting here live from Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.